Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hi, Larry Greenthumb here from K Post Point Claire, 1860D Boulevard de Source, in conjunction with Hydro Depot. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to transplant some cuttings and put them on here to this what a flood and drain table. It's a real, real, real good system to operate. Um, I was having a problem. I was running out of space to plant. So what I came up with was this little guy here. It's been clean, sterilized. I'll show you how it all works. This here's the pump. The pump will stay submerged and comes out through this hole here. When I take off this cover, this is my reservoir right here with my nutrients A, optimum B, growth, B before A, always. All right, so this goes down like this. Place there, Put the pump back in, right in, sub submerge. We don't have to set up a light because the light's already right here. Just going to plug her in. As you can see, the water exits out through here and fills up the table. Uh, I don't need it too full. This is going to be enough for, um, for my cuttings. Okay. What I like to do is I like to take the Rodan Rockwell cubes, any size, 3 inch, 4 inch, doesn't matter. I prefer the small ones, 3 inch. Uh, they're going to sit in here. Now you see this plastic around here? This actually is good for the roots at the beginning because the roots will be all trapped inside here. Later on when you want to transplant, let's say to soil or to uh, some coconut or hydrogen, you take, the you take off this plastic and when you take this off, you're going to see roots coming outside so that means she's ready to plant. So I'm going to start placing my uh, cubes inside now so they can get saturated. I like to place the cubes all together, keep everything in order. There you go. Now these, they're going to sit here while the water brings, brings up onto the table. It's going to get a chance to flood all these things. And it's very important, your grodan has to be saturated with water. Soak, soak, soak first. If you put a dry cube in and then you put your cutting in, it won't last 24 hours. You always have to have these wet. A lot of people think that, oh, you just put them there dry like that and they stay in. They're going to find water miraculously. No. What you have to do is soak them. That's what we're doing right now. Ready. Okay. And these are the rest of my cuttings today. I've got a couple of different uh, strains of coleuses. I like them a lot. and. Uh, we're going to put those in, along with uh, the rest are basil. Okay. What I like to do with when I choose my cuttings, I always select a cutting that has fresh white roots. Look at her. And they have to come out of this little cube. That means she's ready to be transplanted. So, in you go there, little buddy.
she fits right in. That's all you have to do. Select another cutting. When the roots start looking a little bit brown, it's because they've been exposed to too much light. So this one is definitely ready to go, go inside. There's another one. See, once they pass here, they're looking for somewhere to go. One nice green, like the, the fresh first, the leaves that are coming out, the, the little ones are coming out, gotta be nice and green. Always. If you choose ones like these, you won't have a problem. Uh, with this system, I, I like to set up a timer. A timer where, um, say something like this. Something this simple. You program it for the AM, PM, minutes. Uh, and what this will do, this will go off automatically. So I don't have to, I, I could leave it plugged into the timer. The timer will turn it on, on and off by itself. So I won't waste electricity and I won't be wasting water. And that's basically how a flood and drain cable works. Thank you for participating, and for more information, contact us on Facebook, at Hydro Depot, hydrodepot.gmail.com.